This video tutorial is about how you take your individual photos of a place and stitch them together into one flat wide angle panorama using 3D Vista Stitcher. If you don't know how to shoot these pictures properly, go back to the video tutorial on how to take the pictures for a panorama. So these are my individual photos that I want to stitch together into one 360 degree flat panorama. These are the individual photos that I've stored on my computer. So what I do is I open 3D Vista Stitcher 4. In case you want to create an entire virtual tour using this panorama, you can go right away to 3D Vista Virtual Tour and stitch these photos into a flat panorama from within 3D Vista Virtual Tour Suite. But now I selected 3D Vista Stitcher to create only the flat panorama image. Okay, so I select single panorama and normal panorama. And now I have to select the kind of lens that I was using when I took the pictures. I was using a circular fisheye, so I select circular fisheye. And now it asks me to select the photos that I want to stitch together. We also have another video tutorial on how to stitch HDR panoramas where we're using the exact same photo. So if you're interested in how that works, watch the video tutorial on how to stitch HDR panoramas. Okay, so I select all of the photos that belong to this one panorama and click on open. And now I click auto stitching and the program right away creates a pre-stitched version of my panorama. There you go. This is the pre-stitched panorama. As you can see, it's not the best quality yet because it's not the final stitched panorama. It's rather a preview of what my final panorama would look like. And this is in order to check if you see any mistakes and also to enhance your panorama before finally stitching it. So the final stitching process, the high quality stitching process, has not taken place yet. So now we can have a look whether we find any misaligned lines or any errors in the stitching. If you do, this could be due to three error sources. The first one being that you selected the wrong lens settings. For example, you selected 15mm lens while you were actually using an 8mm lens. Or secondly, the program might have not been able to find proper control points where to stitch the pictures, the individual photos together. And thirdly, it might have selected wrongly the cropping circle. But these are all things that the program tends to do correctly. So in the normal case, you don't have to change any of these three things. Usually, if you've taken the individual photos properly, there shouldn't be any errors or mistakes in the stitching. But if there are, have a look at the individual video tutorials on each of these three error sources or check out our troubleshooting. But let's assume for now that your panorama has turned out perfectly, such as this one. So that's basically already everything you have to do. You can now start the final stitching process or you can decide to enhance the panorama beforehand with the controls on the right hand side. So I could change contrast, I could make the entire panorama a little more bright, I could give it more or less saturation and change gamma. Once I'm satisfied with my panorama, I can go on to the final stitching process. But before that, make sure that you consult these size settings right here on the right hand side. So what you want to do in order to get out the maximum quality of your picture is click Don't Resize. This might take a little longer in the actual stitching process, but will guarantee that you're actually getting the maximum quality that you can get out of your picture. And now with the stitching process I have two options. I can either stitch and save it right away or I can send this panorama to batch which means that it will be stitched later on as soon as I tell it to. So if I send this panorama to batch I can start creating a new panorama, another panorama, send that one to batch 2 and then start creating a third panorama and 
start the final stitching process of all three panoramas at the very end, so I'm not losing any time in between. But because I am only stitching this one particular panorama right here, I'll click Stitch and Save. I will select the folder where I want to save my panorama and give it a name, Panel 3, click Save, and then the stitching process will automatically start. Once the stitching process is done, you'll see this window popping up. Your panorama is now ready and saved on your computer as a JPEG file. Before closing the program, you can check your panorama in two ways. If you click Open Panorama, you'll see your flat panorama as a JPEG file. There it is, this is my final high quality panorama. If you click Open in Viewer, you'll see your panorama displayed in a sphere, which would be the format you'd be using in virtual tours. Remember that this is only possible from within the program, so you cannot save or publish this immersive format anywhere using 3D Vista Stitcher. Instead, in order to publish and use this spherical format, you need to use 3D Vista Virtual Tool Suite. Thanks for watching.